dear student now today we will see the trigonometry second part now in this video we will see the compound angles for the cos of a minus b cos of a plus b sin of a plus b sin of a minus b and tan of a plus b and the tan of a minus b now in this video i had covered all the exercise that is a 3.1 i try to explain to understand you in a very well i hope that you will understand all the examples whatever that i have illustrated now let us start the trigonometry second part exercise 3.1 Now let us start trigonometry two. Now see this trigonometry functions of sum and difference of angles means what a plus b or a minus b. Sum means addition, difference means subtraction. you will see this this is the first topic for us trigonometry functions of the sum and difference of the angles trigonometry functions of allied angles that we will see in the second exercise trigonometry functions of multiple angles that we'll see in the next exercise factorization formula i'll just say that the trigonometry is the backbone of the calculus for that these two chapters are very very important for you don't fear this all are very simple i try to explain you in a very simple and simple language all of you will understand whatever that i am going to explain it trigonometry functions of the angles of a triangles that is our last exercise it's a very interesting now we'll see the first compound angles compound angles are the sum or difference in trigonometry you have to remember the formula is number of the times if you want to remember this number of the times when you whatever your place for the study you write this formula on paper and see number of the times and then you will remember it in proper this is very basic formula that is a cos of a minus b is equals to cos of a plus cos b or cos of a into cos b plus sin of a into sin b this is the formula very important formula cos of a minus b is equals to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b this more problem changing it okay now see this this is the first formula is for the difference and second formula is for that is a cos of a cos b plus sin of a sin b how to remember this formula i will again explain to you because there are the number of the formulas whenever there is cos function then and then the cos function then the same same functions are on the right hand side cos a cos b then sin a sin b therefore cos of a plus b is equals to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b the derivation of this formula not required but sometimes in exam in some colleges they may be asked you practice it from the textbook write 
two to three times only this simple distance formula is applied there and you can get it there is a cos of a plus b is equals to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b now we will prove with the help of the above formula that is the cos of a plus b is equals to cos a minus in bracket minus b that is equals to that we have written that is a b in this fashion minus in bracket minus b because we know the formula cos of a minus b and using that formula i had proved here now what is the cos of a minus b cos of a minus b means what cos a cos b plus sin a sin b now i am writing here cos a cos of minus b plus sin a sin of minus b now cos absorb the negative sign this is my dialog you remember always and sin reflect the negative sign therefore it is a minus sin of b whenever there is a sin of minus theta it is a minus sin theta and what about the cos of minus theta cos of minus theta is cos theta now see this formula is therefore cos a cos b minus sin a sin b therefore our formula is cos of a plus b is equals to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b this is the formula now whenever there is a cos sum or difference on the right side right hand side there are the same terms that is a cos a cos b minus sin a sin b for the cos we take the same terms and whenever there is a plus sign on the left hand side then minus to the right hand side it is like this now we'll see the formula for cos of pi by 2 minus theta now this is from the 10th standard but again we will derive this by using the above formula that is the cos of a minus b is equals to cos a pi by 2 minus theta is cos of pi by 2 into cos theta plus sin of pi by 2 into sin theta now what is the cos 90 cos 90 is 0 it is a quadrantial angle cos theta and sin 90 is 1 therefore 0 into cos theta is 0 plus 1 into sin theta that is equals to sin theta this is a cos of pi by 2 minus theta and also there is one more dialog for for you to remember this whenever there is a pi by 2 plus or minus some angles then the function changes the sin become cos and cos become sin now here cos become sin pi by 2 minus theta then it becomes sin theta and in which quadrant this parent comes cos of pi by 2 minus theta it comes in first quadrant their cos is positive in the first quadrant and therefore cos of pi by 2 minus theta is a plus sign is there and the function changes whenever there is a pi by 2 minus theta or pi by 2 plus theta function changes now see this cos of pi by 2 plus theta i am expanding by using the formula of the cos of a plus b that is a cos of pi by 2 cos of theta minus sin of pi by 2 into sin theta cos 90 is 0 and therefore it is a cos of pi by 2 plus theta is a minus sin theta again the same dialog is there whenever the pi by 2 plus theta the function changes it becomes sin and cos of pi by 2 plus theta is goes in second quadrant in second quadrant only sin is positive cos is negative therefore we had written there minus sin theta now see this this is also important formula that is the sin of a minus b is equals to sin a cos b minus cos a sin b here the different terms are on the right hand side sin a cos b but for the cos cos a cos b now remember this therefore sin of a minus b is equals to sin a cos b minus cos a sin b again one thing is that sin of a minus b on the left hand side minus sign is there in between a minus b on the right hand side also the minus sign 
Now next we know that sine of theta is equals to cos of pi by 2 minus theta. And again we write here sine of a minus b is equals to cos of pi by 2 minus in bracket a minus b. Therefore, it is written in this manner that is the cos of pi by 2 minus a plus b. Now expand this by using the formula of cos of a plus b that is the cos of pi by 2 minus a into cos b minus sine of pi by 2 minus a into sine b and overall you are getting the sine a cos b minus cos a into sine b and that's why now these are the formulas from from your 10th standard again by using the same dialog whenever there is a pi by 2 plus theta or minus theta the function changes sine become cos cos become sine and it gets the sine where that parent trigonometry function line means cos sine whatever that in the left hand side therefore sine of a minus b is equals to sine a cos b minus cos a sine b we change the angles and different terms are there. See this. And for the cos, cos of a minus b, cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. Now the next is sin of a plus b is equals to sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. Now see this. Plus sin is between a on the left hand side. Also the plus sign to the right hand side. Now these are very very important formulas. Now see this. Sin of a plus b is equals to sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. Now the next is tan of a plus b. Again this is very interesting. Now you know sin of a plus b and cos of a plus b and therefore it is written in this manner that is the tan a plus tan b upon 1 minus tan a into tan b. We can also derive this. It is a derivation is also very simple. It is not asked in the examination but its application is required. Therefore tan of a plus b is equals to sin of a plus b upon cos of a plus b. Now expand sin of a plus b. Sin of a plus b is a sin a cos b plus cos a sin b and again the whole divided by that is cos of a cos b minus sin a sin b. Now see this so tan of a plus b. There is a 1 to the denominator at the starting. Now here cos of a and cos b is there. Now therefore divide a numerator and denominator by cos of a and cos b. Then and then in place of cos a cos b to the denominator we will get 1. By using this trick you can remember this formula. Therefore divide n and d by cos a cos b. Now see this divide n and d, n for numerator, d for denominator, sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. This whole divided by cos of a cos of b divided by cos a cos b minus sin a into sin b. Again this whole divided by cos of a cos of b. Now split up this, divide to the individual terms, means what? That is a sin a cos b upon cos a cos b. Plus cos a sin b upon cos a cos b. Again cos a cos b upon cos a cos b minus sin a sin b upon cos a cos b. Now see this is the first term that is a cos b cos b get cancelled to the numerator. Therefore you will get the first term as a tan of a. You are getting the tan of a cancel the term. For the first tan a 
और नेक्स्ट प्लस टेन बी अपॉन वन माइनस टेन ऑफ ए इंटू टेन ऑफ बी एंड दिस इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर टेन ऑफ ए प्लस बी देर फॉर टेन ऑफ ए प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू टेन ए प्लस टेन बी अपॉन वन माइनस टेन ए इंटू टेन बी सिमिलरली वी कैन राइट द फॉर्मूला फॉर टेन ऑफ ए माइनस बी नाउ सी दिस इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मूला सिमिलरली we can prove that tan of a minus b is equals to tan a minus tan b upon 1 plus tan a into tan b you see this now the next Also remember this cos of pi by two minus theta is sine theta. And again, the repeated this. Whenever there is a pi by two angle, the function changes. Cos becomes sine. Again, cos of pi by two plus theta means what? It is a minus sine theta. Why it is minus sine theta? Because the cos in second quadrant is negative. I say that cos of pi by two is a parent trigonometry. It is in the second quadrant, and that's why it will become minus sine. That is a minus sine theta. Sine of pi by two minus theta is a cos theta. Whenever there is a pi by two minus theta or plus theta, the function changes. Sine becomes cos. Cos becomes sine. Sine of pi by two plus theta. Again, sine is positive in the second quadrant. Therefore, it is a plus cos of theta. Tan of pi by two minus theta is become cot. And tan of pi by two plus theta it becomes minus cot of theta because the tan in the second quadrant is negative. In second quadrant, only the sine is positive. Therefore. We can write again one more formula. That is the cot of a plus b is equals to that is the cot a dot cot b minus one upon cot of a plus cot of b. Now, whenever there is a cot function, we we'll always change there. That is in terms of the tan and cot of. A minus B is equals to cot A cot B plus one upon cot B minus cot of A. Now we will start the exercise. Find the value of sine of fifteen, but we do not we don't know the what is the standard value of the sine fifteen. But it is written in this manner. That is a sine of forty five minus thirty. And apply the formula for sine of a minus b. Sine of a minus b means what? Sine a cos b minus cos a sine b. Therefore, sine of forty five cos thirty minus cos of forty five sine thirty. Now you must remember this basic value I teach you in the second lesson. That is sine forty five is one by root two. Cos thirty is root three by two. Cos forty five is one by root two. Sine thirty is one upon two, and normal simplification is there. Root three upon two root two minus one upon two root two, and overall your denominator is the same. That is the root three minus one upon two root two, and hence the result. Now the next is sine of fifteen is equals to root three minus one upon two root two. Cos of seventy-five. Now again, what is interesting? It is written in this fashion. That is forty-five plus thirty. Now expand this cos of in the formula by using the a plus b cos a cos b minus sine a sine b. That is the cos of forty-five into cos thirty minus sine of forty-five into sine thirty. And again, the cos forty-five is one by root two. Cos thirty is root three upon two. Sine forty-five is one by root two, and sine thirty is one upon two. Now simplify this. Root three upon two root two minus one upon two root two. Then you are getting the root three minus one upon two root two, and hence the result. That is the cos of seventy five is equals to root three minus one upon two root two. This is the 
आंसर कॉस ऑफ सेवेंटी फाइव इज इक्वल टू रूट थ्री माइनस वन अपॉन टू रूट टू ना द नेक्स्ट इज थर्ड दैट इज द टेन ऑफ हंड्रेड एंड फाइव इट इज रिटर्न एज अगेन सिक्सटी प्लस फोर्टी फाइव टेन ऑफ ए प्लस बी मीन्स वॉट टेन ए प्लस टेन बी अपॉन वन माइनस टेन ऑफ ए इंटू टेन बी दैट इज टेन ऑफ सिक्सटी इंटू टेन ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव What is the value of tan 60 by using that triangle? I had teach you in the second chapter. Tan 60 is root 3. Tan 45 is 1. That is divided by to the denominator 1 minus root 3 into 1, and that is root 3 plus 1 upon 1 minus root 3 into 1. Therefore, tan of 105 is equals to the root 3 plus 1 upon 1 minus root 3. These are the values. Now the next is cot of two twenty five is equals to cos of that is written written as cot of one eighty plus forty five that is a cot of pi plus forty five. Now whenever there is a pi angle, the function remain as it is. That is equals to cot of forty five, and that's value is one. It was very fast. Question number two: Prove the following. That is the cos of pi by 2 minus x and cos of pi by 2 minus y minus sine of pi by 2 minus x into sine of pi by 2 minus y. Now see this here: pi by 2 minus x and pi by 2 minus x y. We write here: a is equals to pi by 2 minus x and b is equals to pi by 2 minus y. Therefore, the whole weak expression will be compact in this manner. Now see this. There is a cos a cos b minus sin a sin b, and this is the expansion of cos of a plus b. But what is the value of a? A is a pi by two minus x plus b is pi by two minus y. Now pi by two plus pi by two. So this here. 90 plus 90, it becomes pi. That is 180. That is a pi minus in bracket x plus y. We take the minus sign common. Now whenever there is a pi minus something angle, then function remain as it is. It goes in second quadrant. They could because pi minus x plus y is in second quadrant. Therefore, it is a negative. Therefore, it is a minus cos of x plus y. Now see this next. Tan of pi by four plus theta is equals to one minus tan theta upon one plus tan theta. The last example was very fast. You can see by pausing the video. Now see this tan of pi by four plus or minus theta is equals to. Now I am writing in this manner. Tan of pi by four plus or minus theta is equals to one plus or minus tan theta upon minus one plus tan theta. I solve this example in both way. Sometimes in the textbook, the last answer may not be same with the my answer. Therefore, I had written both types. You may select which is the correct. Tan of pi by four plus or minus theta is equals to one plus or minus tan theta upon minus plus tan theta, and that's why you are getting the tan of pi by four plus theta is equals to one plus tan theta upon one minus the tan theta, and tan of pi by four minus theta is equals to one minus tan theta upon one plus tan theta. Now next is one plus tan theta upon one minus tan theta. Bracket square is equals to tan of pi by four plus x upon tan of pi by four minus x. Now here we consider the RHS. Now see this tan of pi by four plus x upon tan of pi by four minus x. Now apply the formula tan of a plus b. What is the tan of a plus b? Tan a plus tan b. Upon one minus tan a to tan b. Now whole divided by. Now the formula for tan of pi by four minus x. 
it is a tan of pi by 4 minus x 1 plus tan of pi by 4 into tan x. Now, what is the value of tan of pi by 4 is 1. Therefore, it is a 1 plus. Now, say this again. That is a tan of pi by 4 plus tan x upon 1 minus tan of pi by 4 into tan x into 1 plus tan of pi by 4 into tan x upon tan of pi by 4 minus tan x. Now, what is the value of tan of pi by 4 is 1 plus tan x upon 1 minus tan x into again next bracket is 1 plus tan x and to the denominator it is 1 minus tan x into 1 minus tan x and it becomes 1 minus tan x bracket square. It's therefore 1 plus tan x bracket square. See this 1 plus tan x upon bracket square upon 1 minus tan x bracket square and overall you are getting the 1 plus tan x upon 1 minus tan x bracket square which is our LHS. Therefore, here LHS is equals to RHS and hence the result. Now, very interesting uh, problems are here. You must know the proper formula, but at the starting you will get it difficult. But after some time, if you make the practice, daily practice, then you will get easy. Now, next is 4. That is a sine in bracket n plus a into a dot. Sine in bracket n plus 2 into a plus cos in bracket n plus 1 into a. And cos of n plus 2 into a is equals to cos of a. Again, this is very simple. Now, this is the expansion of cos of a minus b, but at the starting they write the sign, but we do not require this because we require the cos at the starting. Therefore, we will write here that is the cos of in bracket n plus 1 into a cos of n plus 2 into a plus sine of in bracket n plus 1 into a into sine of next bracket sine of n plus 2 into a. Now, see this. This is the expansion of cos of a minus b. What is a here? n plus 1 into a. What is the b? n plus 2 into a. That is a or x, y. I have treated here x and y. This is the expansion of cos of x minus y. x is n plus 1 into a minus n plus 2 into a. Now, see this. Now, if we simplify this, that is the cos of in bracket n a. If you take a as common, then you will get plus n minus n get cancelled and the cos of minus a. And again, the cos absorb the negative sign, therefore, that is equals to cos of a. And this is the our RHS. Hence, we write that is a sign in bracket n plus 1 into a sign in bracket n plus 2 into a plus cos in bracket n plus 1 into a cos in bracket n plus 2 into a is equals to cos a. We will see the next problem. Now, we will see the next. This is the answer. I am taking with the cos of a to the now the next. That is a root 2 cos of pi by 4 minus a is equals to cos a plus sin a. Now evaluate the LHS. That is a root 2 in bracket cos of pi by 4 minus a. Now expand this by using cos of a minus b. 
cos of a minus b is a cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. But what is a pi by 4? Means what 45? That is the cos of pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 into cos a plus 1 by root 2 into sin a. Therefore, take 1 by root 2 as a common. Then you will get root 2 upon root 2 that is the cos a plus sin a. And that's why the root 2 root 2 get cancelled and the cos a plus sin a. This is our RHS. Therefore, LHS is equals to RHS. And hence the root 2 cos of pi by 4 minus a is equals to cos a plus sin a. These examples are nothing but the practice for your formula. If we, they are doing the practice number of the times by using the different types of the examples, how you apply the formula for this type of the examples. This is the drilling exercise for the formula. Now see this cos of x minus y upon cos of x plus y is equals to cot of x into cot of y plus 1 upon cot of x into cot of y minus 1. To prove that in trigonometry, you must require the number of the time practice. If you do the more and more practice and you will have the full confidence about the trigonometry. Now see this cos of x minus y upon cos of x plus y. Expand this cos of x minus y is a cos x cos y plus sin x sin y upon cos x into cos y minus sin x into sin y. But if we see this, whatever that we want to prove that, there is a term cot starting, it is a cot x cot y. Therefore, and the, to the numerator for on the LHS, there is a cos x cos y and that's why we are dividing to come there cot x and cot y therefore we are selecting the sin x sin y and divide to the numerator and the denominator sin x sin y and that's why you are getting cos x cos y plus sin x sin y divided by sin x sin y upon cos x cos y minus sin x sin y upon sin x sin y therefore split up this cos x into cos y upon sin x into sin y plus sin x into sin, sin y upon sin x into sin y. Therefore, to the denominator, cos x cos y upon sin x sin y minus sin x sin y upon sin x into sin y. Now, to the denominator, you will get cot x cot y. Because cos x upon sin x is cot x, and cot y plus 1 upon cot x into cot y minus 1 and which is our RHS and hence LHS is equals to RHS. Next is that is a cos of x minus y upon cos of x plus y is equals to cot x cot y plus 1 upon cot x into cot y minus 1. This is we want to prove. The next is cos of x plus y into cos of x minus y is equals to cos square y minus sin square y. Again, this is very simple. Now see this LHS that is the cos of x plus y into cos of x minus y is equals to cos x cos y minus sin x into sin y bracket complete and the next bracket you will get cos x cos y plus sin x sin y now see this this is the of the form a minus b into a plus b therefore it is a square minus b square form and hence it is a cos square x into cos square y minus sin square x into sin square y now therefore now see this cos square x is replaced by 1 minus sin square because we required the term sin square x and cos square y. Therefore, instead of cos square x, we write 1 minus sin square and instead of sin square y, we replace 1 minus cos square y because in the der derivation, we required this. 
to the RHS, RHS terms contains. Now see this multiplication is there. That is the cos square y minus sin square x into cos square y minus sin square x plus sin square y into cos square y. Therefore, you are getting the cos square y minus sin square x, which is our RHS. And hence, we write the answer to the last Therefore, this is now next is tan of 5a minus tan of 3a upon tan of 5a plus tan of 3a is equals to sin of 2a upon sin of 8a. Now see this LHS tan of 5a minus tan of 3a upon tan of 5a plus tan of 3a. Now, very simple tan of theta means what sin theta upon cos theta by using this formula by writing sin of phi upon cos of phi a minus sin of 3 upon cos of 3 a upon whole divided by sin of phi upon cos of phi a plus sin of 3 a upon cos of 3 a now make the cross multiplication to the numerator and the, to the denominator then you are getting the sin of phi a into cos of 3 a minus cos of phi a into sin of 3 a upon cos of phi a into cos of 3 a into cos of 3 a the whole divided by sin of phi a into cos of 3 a plus sin of 3a into cos of 5. Now to the denominator, they are the terms, the cos of 5 into cos of 3a, cos of 5 into cos of 3a get cancelled. This is the 3a. Both numerator and denominator this cos of phi and cos of 3a get cancelled now see this sin of phi into cos of 3a minus cos of phi into cos sin of 3a this is the expansion of sin of phi a minus 3a and to the denominator it is a sin of phi a plus 3a therefore it is a sin of 2a upon sin of 8a and hence the result which is our RHS therefore LHS is equals to RHS therefore tan of phi a minus tan of 3a upon tan of phi a plus tan of 3a is equals to sin of 2a upon sin of 18. Now next, now the next is tan of 8 theta minus tan of 5 theta minus tan of 3 theta is equals to tan of 8 theta into tan of 5 theta into tan of 3 theta when this type of the example see the student it seems to be very tough how it is possible but in this type of example we do not require to consider LHS or the RHS. We treat another treatment here. We write here simple 8 theta is equals to 5 theta plus 3 theta. Take tan ratio on both sides. That is the tan of 8 theta is equals to tan of 5 theta plus 3 theta. Therefore, tan of 8 theta is equals to expand by using the formula tan of a plus b. Tan of 5 theta plus tan of 3 theta upon 1 minus tan of 5 theta plus tan of 3 theta. Simple multiplication, cross multiplication is there. Tan of 8 theta in bracket 1 minus tan of 5 theta into tan of 3 theta is equals to tan of 5 theta plus tan of 3 theta. And this multiplication gets the tan of 8 theta minus tan of 5 theta minus tan of 3 theta is equals to tan of 8 theta into tan of 
phi theta into tan of 3 theta and hence we write this answer like this that is the tan of 8 theta is minus tan of phi theta minus tan of 3 theta is equals to tan of 8 theta into tan of phi theta into tan of 3 theta this is the proof. Therefore, in some examples, we do not consider RHS or the RHS. There are the some tricks present in this type of examples. And you have to remember this type of trick. Now, next, tan of 50 is equal to tan 40 plus 2 tan of 10. Now, in this case, tan of 50 can be written as tan of 40 plus 10. Therefore, we again use the formula for the tan of a plus b, tan a plus tan b upon 1 minus tan a into tan b. Now, see this very interesting. There is a tan 15 bracket 1 minus tan 40 into tan 10 is equals to tan 40 plus tan 10. Now, see this here. Very interesting. Tan 50 is multiplied to the whole bracket. That is a tan 50 into 1 tan 50 minus tan 50 into tan 40 into tan 10. That is equals to tan of 40 plus tan 10. Now, again, tan of 50 into tan 40, the value of this is 1. How it is? Now, see this. Now, tan of 50 into tan 40 is equals to tan of 50 into, what is the tan theta? Cot of 90 minus theta. Therefore, tan of 40 is equals to cot of 90 minus 40. This is very important. What is the formula? That is a tan theta is equals to cot of 90 minus theta. This is the important formula. And now see this. Therefore, we change here. Tan of 50 into tan 40 is equals to tan of 50 into cot of 50. And what is a cot 50 means what 1 upon tan 50 that two terms get cancelled and therefore tan of 50 into tan 40 is equals to 1. One trick is there that the sum of these two angles is 90 and therefore the value is 1. Therefore now we can write tan 50 minus 1 into tan of 10 is equals to tan of 40 plus tan of 10. That is the tan of 10. Now see this. Therefore, tan of 50 is equals to tan 40 plus that minus tan of 10 from the left hand side. When it comes to the right hand side, therefore tan of 10 is added and it becomes 2 times tan of 10. Therefore, see this. There is a tan 40 plus 2 times tan of 10. Therefore, tan 50 is equals to tan 40 plus 2 times tan of 10. Now see this again. Everything you have to remember here for all the formulas. There is a cos of 27 plus sine of 27 upon cos of 27 minus sine of 27 is equals to tan of 72. Now again, this is very interesting. Now see this here. Divide n and d by 27. Therefore, cos of 27 upon cos of 27 plus sine of 27 upon cos of 27 and to the denominator, you are getting cos of 27 upon cos of 27 minus sine of 27 upon cos of 27. That's you are getting 1 plus tan of 27 upon 1 minus tan of 27. That is equals to 1 means what? Tan of pi by 4 plus tan of 27 upon 1 means 1 minus that is a, to the denominator 1 minus 1 dot tan of 27 that 1 the value of that 1 is tan of 5 by 4 into tan of 27 and now this is the expansion of tan of 5 by 4 plus 27 but what is the 5 by 4 it is a 45 that is the tan of pi by 4 plus 27 upon that is tan of pi by 4 that is the tan of 45 plus 27 and overall it comes tan of 72 
and this is for RHS and hence LHS is equals to RHS and that's why cos of 27 plus sin of 27 upon cos of 27 minus sin of 27 and that is equals to tan of 72. Now the next example. 12th example tan of 10 plus tan of 35 plus tan of 10 into tan of 35 is equals to 1. Again the same for type of the problem here. We do not consider LHS or the RHS and this is again very simple 45 is equals to 35 plus 10. If you see this problem there is a 10 and 35 that makes 45. This is the key for you to remember how to solve this problem. That is the 45 is equals to 35 plus 10. Therefore, take tan ratio on both sides. Therefore, tan of 45 is equals to tan 35 plus 10. Again, tan of A plus B is equals to tan A plus tan B upon 1 minus tan A into tan B. Now, simplify this. The denominator from the right hand side goes to the left hand side. It is multiplied with that 1. Therefore, it becomes 1 minus tan of 35 into tan 10 is equals to tan of 35 plus tan 10 and that's why you are getting 1 minus tan of 35 into tan 10 is equals to tan of 35 plus tan 10 and that's why our result is tan 10 plus tan 35 plus tan of 35 into tan 10 is equals to 1. Now the next 13 cot of a into cot of 4a plus 1 upon cot of a into cot of 4a minus 1 is equals to cot of cos of 3 upon cos of 5 this is very again simple now what is the cot of a cos of a upon sin of a and cos of 4a upon sin of 4a minus 1 upon cos of a upon sin of a cos of 4a upon sin of 4a minus 1 now simplify this that is the cos of a cos of 4a plus sin of a into sin of 4a divided by sin a into sin of 4a. Now see this denominator cos of a cos of 4a minus sin of a into sin of 4a bracket complete and whole divided by sin a into sin of 4a. Now sin a into sin of 4a get cancelled and you are getting the cos a cos of 4a plus sin a into sin of 4a upon cos a into cos of 4a minus sin a into sin of 4a. Now this is again very simple. This is the expansion of cos of a minus b and that is a cos of 4a minus a and to the denominator it is a cos of a plus b that is a cos of 4a plus a. Now here you will say that why we have not taken the a first whatever the bigger angle that's I have taken it. Therefore it is a cos of 3 upon cos of 5 which is our RHS and hence LHS is equals to RHS. Now next is therefore cot of a into cot of 4a plus 1 upon cot of a into cot of 4a minus 1 is equals to cos of 3a upon cos of 5a. This is we want to prove. You see this? Now next. 14th example sin of 15 cos of 15 minus sin of 15 upon cos of 15 plus sin of 15 is equals to 1 by root 3. Now you can see this divide again numerator and the denominator by the term cos of 15. Then and then you will get to the left hand side that is the expansion of tan of that is the cos of 15 upon cos of 15 minus sin of 15 upon 
cos of 15 upon cos of 15 upon cos of 15 plus sin of 15 upon cos of and make their mistake that must be the cos that is the tan of 15 that is equals to tan of pi by 4 minus tan of 15 upon 1 plus 1 into tan of 15 and now this is the expansion of that 1 means tan of pi by 4 that is the tan 15 and that is a tan of pi by 4 minus 15 but what is the tan of pi by 4 pi by 4 means 45 45 minus 30 and it comes tan 30 now see this 45 minus 15 that is a tan of 30 and tan 30 is 1 by root 3 and this is our array this is our result that is RHS Therefore, cos 15 minus sin 15 upon cos of 15 plus sin of 15 is equals to 1 by root 3. Now, the next is that is if the sin of a is equals to minus 5 upon 13. And next is Sin of A is equals to minus 5 upon 13 and uh, therefore we can find out cos of A is equals to <coughs> 1 minus sin square by using the identities I had solved this problem also by using the triangle you can solve this. Now, first of all, cos of A is equals to plus or minus 12 upon 13. Now, our angle lies in the third quarter. In third quarter, cos is negative and therefore, we take it is a cos of minus 12 upon 13. This is our first value. Now, the next. Also, cos of B is equals to 3 upon 5. Now, you see the problem from the textbook. That is, the cos of B is equals to 3 upon 5. Therefore, sin square B is equals to 1 minus cos square B. That is, 1 minus 3 by 5 brackets. We are finding the values. That is equals to 25 minus 9 upon 25. Therefore, the sin square b is equals to 16 upon 25. Therefore, sin b is equals to plus or minus 4 upon 5. And that's why sin b is equals to plus or minus 4 upon 5. Now, see this the angle, but the angle b lies in fourth quadrant. It is a 3 pi by 2. 2 2 pi and in the fourth quadrant only the cos is positive sin is negative therefore it is a sin b is equals to minus 4 upon 5 so minus 4 upon i had mistake small mistake is there that is a sin b is equals to minus 4 upon 5 there. I must change it. Now see the value sin of a plus b is equals to sin a. Now see these values. These are the values. Minus 4 by 5 there must be my mistake I have done there. That is the first is sin A cos B plus cos A into sin B. Now I am writing here the correct value. Now see this, there are cancellations, algebraic addition. Keep this, that is a minus 15 upon 65. 
and plus 48 upon 65 and comes that is equals to 33 upon 65 and this is the answer sign of a plus b is equals to 33 upon 65 next next is second one cos of a minus b is equals to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b and now substitute the values that is a cos of a is a minus 12 upon 13 into 3 by 5 plus in bracket minus 5 upon 13 into minus 4 upon 5. Now simple calculation is there that is equals to minus 36 upon 65 plus 20 upon 65 and it comes minus 16 upon 65. Therefore cos of a minus b is equals to minus 16 upon 65. Now see this. The next is third one that is the tan of in bracket tan a is equals to sin a upon there must be the cos a I mistake there sin a upon cos a tan of a is equals to sin a upon cos a by mistake I have done there I am changing it I have changed it it is a cos of a that is the minus 5 upon 13 upon minus 12 upon 13 overall you are getting the 5 upon 13 and the tan b is equals to sin b upon cos b that is equals to minus 4 by 5 upon 3 by 5 and that is equals to minus 4 upon 5 now see this that is tan of a is equals to 5 upon 12 and tan of b is equals to minus 4 by 3 Now see this. Therefore, tan of a plus b is equals to tan a plus tan b upon 1 minus tan a into tan b. That is equals to 5 upon 12 minus 4 upon 3 upon 1 minus 5 upon 12 into minus 4 upon 3 and we make the calculations that is a cross multiplication 5 into 3 minus 4 into 12 upon 36 minus that is divided to the denominator 1 plus 20 upon 36 that is a 15 minus 48 upon 36 and 36 plus 20 upon 36, 33, 36 get cancelled and you are getting minus 33 upon 56 and here is the tan of a plus b is equals to minus 33 upon 56. Now, next is if the tan of a is equals to 5 by 6 and tan of b is equals to 1 upon 11, then prove that a plus b is equals to 5 by 4. Now again, this is a very simple example. Apply the formula tan of a plus b is equals to tan a plus tan b upon 1 minus tan a into tan b and substitute the values tan of a plus b is equals to that is a 5 by 6 plus 1 upon 11, 1 minus 5 by 6 upon into 1 upon 11 that is 5 into 11 plus 1 into 6 upon 66 and 66 minus 5 upon 66 66 66, 66 get cancelled you are getting the 55 plus 6 upon 66 minus 5 and that is equal to I think that there is a mistake. It is a 61. 
upon 61 and whole the answer is therefore the tan of a plus b is equals to 1 but when the tan of a plus that is equals to 1 means what the angle must be the pi by 4 therefore a plus b is equals to pi by 4 that is equals to 45 it is a proof now in this way we have completed the practice set 3.1 now we will see in the next video 3.2 this is very important chapter for you practice 15 example per day now we will see in the next video till then goodbye in this way we have completed the exercise 3.1 i hope that you have to understand all the problems that i had explained there again if you have any doubt write in the comment box now if you are new for this channel then subscribe it like it and share it with your needy friends we will see in the next video of the exercise 3.2 till then goodbye